Thank you, Master Sebeni, that is those masters, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody, and the fellow press. Good evening to you all. Good evening. Good evening. So today, as you can see, that I'm today the spokesperson for the traffic directorate of the Ministry of Interior of Bahrain. So today, what I would like to tell you all about, what I'd like to inform you all about, is the issue of the new fines and the new smart cameras that are just popping up everywhere, uh, like in Bahrain. Most of all of you are very familiar with it, and the raising fines, the 30 percent going to 10 percent. So that I would like to like inform you about it more, so you get a little bit more information and more knowledge about these things. Motorists these days, they all have given a clear warning that follow the rules or face strict penalties. Many drivers will have already noticed that the number of traffic cameras popping around all around Bahrain and the number of fines raising is because of a reason. Remember, these rules are placed there for your safety. And we also know that there are only a minority number of drivers which are actually the violators. We do the actually violation, which is not every one of you out here. According to a survey, which was done back two years, there were a striking number of 200 facilities every year which was occurring because of the low fines and no cameras, no smart cameras were there. But according to last year, that number drastically decreased by only 84 casualties, by only 84 fatalities, which was held last year. Maybe you can you go home and in your street out there and you ask any Bahraini guy or any any relation, you ask whether he, she, you, someone they know, have they went through a fatality and I'm very sure the answer would be yes. What was the reason? The reason was no strict traffic rules. There was no fine. And that's why we came up with this new scheme that we call the Rethink Campaign and we raised up the fines. The new cameras are capable of detecting speed of running red lights, drivers not wearing seat belts, babies in front of the car, and using mobile phones. Under the law, running a red light will result up to six months in jail or a fine of BD 100 to BD 500, which will increase to BD 1000 to BD 3000, and three months to three years of jail if it results in an injury. Furthermore, if the accident causes a fatality, it will carry a minimum six month jail sentence and a fine between 2000 and BD 6000. Now, driving under the influence of alcohol or drugs, it will result in a fine of BD 500 to BD 1000 or a jail sentence of a month or it will go up to a year. Street racing, driving without a license, driving a car without brakes or with unfit brakes will carry a fine of BD 50 which could go up to BD 500 or a prison of up to 6 months. Allowing children to sit in front seat or having infants in a car without a child seat will result in a fine between BD 20 to BD 100. Despite the potential huge sums which are being paid every year by these drivers, we can still see a number of violators which are, which are somewhere still there. Why it is so? People say that the traffic directorate just need finance, they need money. No, it's not that. The traffic directorate doesn't need them any money. They need you to focus on your safety. In 2015, a huge chunk of petrol car accidents happened with stationary objects. With stationary objects like walls, trees, holes, what can be the reason? I have a really gut feeling that the mobile phones are the reason. Like, I cannot prove it officially that it were the mobile phones, but what it, I look at is it can be. It can be a mobile phone or the person is intoxicated. And for that, anyone using the mobile phone while driving will, be, will face up to a fine of 50 to 50 mD. And if it results in casualty, it will face the fine from 250 to 500 with a jail sentence of six months to three years. It is estimated around that the world that within 30 seconds of using your mobile phone while driving your car, you can actually cover the length of a football pitch. 
We have introduced a campaign, the Lean Think campaign. I would really urge all of you out there, all of those young drivers, all of you who have just got their license, to go to this campaign and to learn more about the new traffic rules and to learn more about the traffic safety. With this, I would like to open the hall for any questions. First, first. Okay, first. one by one. Let's start with the light. Thank you, official from General Director of Traffic. First of all, yes, you're right with all the presentation you have done. But one thing, don't you think that the way you introduce 30%, if you go over, over speed 30% in 2015, you were supposed to do the same for 10%. Don't you think it's too late? I myself is having 350 behind me, they're not to pay for overspeeding itself. It's too late, I believe, from traffic directorate. They have increased, from, they have decreased from 30% to 10% without informing the public. So all the audience who is going crazy about it, I believe they're all right with their points that you should have introduced and told us before all these things, not after implementing. What do you have to say for that? Uh, a very good point or something, a very good word by Ravid Dinsel. My name is Ahmed. From which news? BBC. BBC. BBC Bahrain. BBC Bahrain Ahmed. It was a, it is a very good point raised by you, uh, Mr. Ahmed. We really think forward on this that we should actually be somewhere be like advertising more about this 30 to 10 person. But uh, for your three TV. Uh, you have to pay it, but don't do any violations, but you still have to pay it, like you did the 350, and you have to pay it. But for the new rules that you said, the 30 to 10 percent, we are still rethinking over it, and we will do that to you soon, that what we will do about these new rules. It is still not implemented, we just told you that this, we will decrease it, but it is still not implemented. The fines which are with you, the last year, you have to pay it. Yes, it's, it's done with you, yes. yes. <laughs> Mary. From Mary, from Al Jazeera. Al Jazeera. Mari from India. Yes, Al Jazeera, India. <laughs> Thank you, dear official from the General Traffic Directorate. Don't you think that it is not fair when you announce that six month jail is for those people who cross the red signal, as the amber signal in Bahrain is of no use? It changes within one second. Your comments, please. Uh, thank you, Mari, Mari, Mari from Al Jazeera. Yes, you're very right. The new traffic headlights and the new smart cameras are there for your safety. And you, you will miss, you, for example, Mari or Mr. Ahmed there from BBC. That guy who crossed the red light signal, he won't be given the fine of the jail just once. He will have to go through many trials, courts, and many videos and then we will prove it and then we will sentence that this guy actually deserved that six month jail or not. That's what we think he did. We are not just giving this to go to like that. My grandkids will pay that. The new smart cameras we have introduced, it's just for that. Question. Yes. Oh. yes. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Mahtab. Uh, this is Gorsimar from News of the People. I have two questions for you. First, one driver was caught at 79 on the road of 80 and another family was fined 8,000 BD without their knowledge. Do you think this is fair? Now all your bells and whistles about Rethink campaign are very nice, they sound very nice. But how do you explain these two scenarios? What about the poor people? How would they bring 8,000 BD to pay when they didn't know about their fines? Can you answer that? It's very yes. important. I would like to answer that question. Bro? It's a very simple, short answer. That uh, crossing, for example, just collecting your information, crossing the speed limit of 80 to 81 or 80 to 79 will not actually uh, give you the 8000 mili fine. Your information is very wrong, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> Coming to a second, uh, this, the traffic version for speeding is just 250, which I just mentioned earlier. That 2000 or 8000 mili, which you just mentioned, is maybe some other fine, and that they have to pay cash or installment. They have to pay. Question, question. Yeah. Uh, I think we don't have that much time. Uh, the time comes to end, my first comes to end. And for this, thank you all. Jazeera, BBC, and people's news. People's news. <laughs> <laughs>